15 years ago, an eight-year-old girl from Dooley County disappeared from her, her neighborhood. Tom George spoke with the family of Shikemia Pate, who would now be 23. Although there aren't any new leads in the case, they're still hopeful their shy shy will be found. The pain is never going to go away, and it doesn't seem like it get better. It seems like it get worse and worse as the years go by. For the last 15 years, Shikemia Pate has been frozen in time as the eight-year-old her family called Shy Shy. Dancing, singing, going to school. I mean, I know she ain't no baby anymore. I know she grown, but she's still my child, and I still see her as that baby that somebody took away from me. On September 4th, 1998, a Friday, Shy Shy's older sister was getting ready to take her to a football game. When it came close to time to go, I drove past. I saw her sitting on a porch. Um, I went and got gas, came back, and she was gone. After looking around, her sister went to the game, assuming Shy Shy was somewhere nearby. I had no idea it'd be, you know, 15 years later and still no sign of her. Now, the last point the sheriff's department was able to actually pinpoint Shy Shy was right here. It's only about 150 yards from her home. It's why her family says they're surprised because in small town Unadilla, they know everybody in this neighborhood. I really do within, I mean, hearts of hearts, I think somebody here knows something. Pate's home was right across from a club. Randy Lamberth, who investigated the case, said there was a lot of drug traffic at the time. After searching all the homes in the neighborhood and following tips over the years, the case died down. We've had a few uh, people that was of interest, uh, but things didn't materialize and develop on that. Lamberth says he believes Pate was abducted by someone she knows. We would welcome her back with open arms, show her that we still love her. There's always hope there, yes. But without answers, they'll just have to wait for the girl in the picture. We pray about her. Who would now be a 23-year-old woman. I wish she could come back to her. I'd be glad when she do come back. In Unadilla, Tom George, 13 WMAZ Eyewitness News. Now, Veronica Pate no longer lives in the house in Unadilla. She's since moved to Perry, but she says if her daughter were to come back to the neighborhood, the house is still owned by relatives who can reach her. If you have any information on this case, you can call the Dooley County Sheriff's Office, that number 229-645-0930. Again, 229-645-0930.